Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're in our Sukhoi 25T and we're going to look at takeoff and landing. So let's get straight on with it. First thing, takeoff procedure, flaps down, press the F key, wait for the indicator to show. There we go, just one stage of indicator. Next we're going to want to hold our wheel brakes and spool to full power. We can see when we're full power because our fan speed here is shown, it'll be 100%. Then we're going to let go as we bomb down the runway and accelerate, which is going to be very slow because she's a slow bird. Uh, we're going to use our rudder axis to control left and right to keep us in the center. Once we reach 240 clicks per hour and the speedo is up here in IAS, and we're going to pull aft stick and rotate to 10 degrees or just above 10 degrees. We can see it here, but uh, no higher than about 12 degrees, uh, because if we do that, we'll risk the tail strike. Once we're at our 10 degrees rotation, we're going to hold until she takes off. When she takes off will depend on the current weight. If she's very light, she'll take off pretty much straight away. If she's medium weight, like today, we've got full fuel but no stores, then she'll take off about 300. And if she's very heavy with full fuel and full fuel, full stores, she'll take off probably at 350 clicks or, or possibly even more. So the key is be patient, hold at your rotation of 10 degrees, don't go any higher. Uh, it won't really help take off anyway, even if you pull up. Um, and that's it. Uh, when we're wheels off the ground and a sensible vertical velocity, gear up, uh, full power all the way up to cruise speed. Our cruise speed is going to be 500 clicks per hour. Flaps up at uh, approaching 400 clicks per hour. Once we're airborne, we're going to get up to a circuit height of 1,000 feet. That's 330 uh, meters and 500 clicks per hour. And we're going to do a left-hand circuit. So let's get on with it. Break on. Full power wait release and off she goes minor corrections with the rudder wait until 240 clicks at 240 we'll, we'll rotate and keep it nice and gentle there's no hurry to get airborne 240 rotate and just be patient she'll rise when she's ready that's a rotation of 10 and we're airborne, all very good and sensible. Gear up, wait for two, wait for 400 clicks. That'll do, flaps up, F key. And turn into left circuit. So we're gonna get uh, 330 uh, meters roughly, 400 clicks per hour, and I'll report back to you on the downwind. Okay, we're on the downwind leg now. That's our runway to the left. So whenever we're doing a visual landing like this with good visual conditions, then we're going to do a circuit before we land. This means that we're going to do a base leg turn before we come into the final approach. Now this base leg turn is important. It's where most of the preparation work for the landing is going to be done. So in the base leg turn, we're going to be coming from uh, circuit speed, which is always 500 clicks per hour, down to our approach speed, which we'll talk about in a minute. We'll also be taking the opportunity of the base turn to get the plane dirty. We'll be t uh, putting our gear down and our flaps down in preparation for landing. Now this is a left hand circuit we're doing at the moment, altitude 1000 feet, speed 500 clicks per hour. If you want to know more about landing circuits then look in our educational general series and we have a proper tutorial on it. Now let's talk about the final approach. So the speed, well the speed if you read the manual is something like 240 clicks per hour. Now that's very slow, I don't like that. One of the reasons is that if you go that slow, even with a light bird, she'll have a very high angle of attack, meaning the nose will stick up in the air quite high, making visibility quite difficult, hard to see the runway, and I just don't really like it. Um, so there's no need to put that much pressure on yourself for landing. So I'm going to go at a more sensible speed of 300 clicks per hour, uh, even with a light plane. That's going to ride us at a lesser angle of attack and just make everything a bit more pleasant. Now, that's if we were lightweight or medium weight. We are medium weight at the moment. If we were high weight, i.e. with a high payload, then we're going to have to ramp that speed up accordingly, 350 or slightly above for the approach. If you didn't do that, then you would stall. Once we get above the threshold of the runway, the end of the runway, we're going to feather out slightly, uh, cut power and basically stall it into the runway. Now, when we do that, we're going to lose a little more speed. So our touchdown speed will be about 20 to 30 clicks less than our approach speed. So in this case, about 270 clicks is when we want to be touching down. So before we set off, I'd just like to explain that we do have instrument landing systems in this to help you out. Now, they are for low visibility conditions only. We should not be using them in high visibility conditions like this. We can just use our eyes for high visibility, but I'll quickly just show you that they're there. So I'm going to unpause and press the one key on route mode, return mode and landing mode. 
uh, very very basically it guides you in with this circle here on the HUD and will take you all the way down to uh, down to the concrete if you wanted to use that now I'm not going to go through it now I have a full tutorial of that on ILS um, and navigation in the SU25 playlist other than that I think we're good to go so unpause Keep at 500 clicks per hour, so power on a little bit. Keep at 330 uh, meters, so everything's pretty good. Just a little bit of trim to get us stable. We're going to turn off our navigation mode. We don't need any of that nonsense. And um, what we want to do is to be looking behind us. We're going to extend about two miles to give us plenty of talking time. Now, you'll notice the visibility is pretty shocking on this aircraft. It makes it probably the hardest plane to fly in DCS, I find, because of the visibility. You have to make so many assumptions. Uh, and you'll be constantly through the base turn you'll be doing this looking above your shoulder uh, trying to find where the runway is and I think that's enough so what we're going to do is come down on the power now and turn into the base turn we're going to get the plane dirty now so G for gear down F for flaps down look for those indicator lights now the nose of the plane is where that cross is in the middle note how we're um, keeping the cross way above the horizon now what she's going to want to do is lose altitude in fact let me just pause it that's uh, an important point here. She's going to want to lose altitude in this base turn, and you've got to fight against her. Keep the power, uh, well, keep the power low, but keep the nose up to make sure she doesn't lose altitude. The other thing, very important, we've got a radar altimeter here that works by sending a beam of radiation down, directly down, and bouncing off, uh, you know, the earth below and then shining up. Now, when we're turned like this, it gives a false reading. You only get a true reading when she's level. So, although it says 371 radar, uh, uh, radar at the moment it's probably about 290 280 is what it actually is so just bear in mind it once we level out it will it will shrink uh, a lot so I'm trying to aim above 330 at the moment uh, and how much you aim above 330 depends on the pitch of your turn steepness of your turn right she's shaking a bit but don't worry about that that's all fine now trying to keep an eye on that runway is pretty difficult I think I see her yep we got it uh, keep the speed coming down, nice controlled fashion, no use of any air brakes or anything silly like that. Um, so we're going to have to guesstimate the uh, the altitude basically on this turn. Feels like we're slightly high at the moment. Speed's coming down nicely, turns feels about right. We're constantly just the uh, roll of this turn to keep it right so that we come out just on that um, runway course. A quick look at the indicator lights to double check, whenever you get a spare second during landing uh, just double check your indicator lights it's just a good habit to get into trimming all the time you can see now we're starting to level out you can see how the radar um, altitude is just dropping off and you can see I've actually lost too much speed uh, from its altitude during that turn so nose up let's regain a bit of that altitude that was a bit silly of me wasn't it all this time I'm trimming trim up trim down and you can see my I've got my hand off the joystick you can see in the controller at the left there uh, it's got back stick on that's how much trim I've got on a little bit of power on, she's going to start wanting to drop uh, speed now as the angle of attack goes up. The angle of attack is there, it's about 15 degrees. If we can land at about 15 degrees, that'll be fine. So um, we're coming in for a slightly curved approach here, it's, it's not too bad. Um, angle, uh, the height is way lower than I wanted, but let's see if we can live with it. I'm going to sit up slightly in my chair now, just so I can see a bit better over the nose. Speed is good. Overshot the runway slightly, but that's not too bad. Yeah, for our distance that we're in now, 180 meters, that's not too bad actually. Still on speed. Trimming. A tiny bit of down trim now. And you see, this is just about right for an approach uh, steepness because we just see, if I'm sitting up on my chair, I can just see the threshold still. If I was slower, the angle of attack would be a lot harder to do. Ramping up the angle of attack slightly above 15 now. It's going to burn off a bit of speed, but it's okay. It'd add a bit of power to compensate. And once we're above the threshold, we're going to cut engines and feather and cut now feather and just stall her into the runway. The slightest touch we can do. Ping! There we go. Hold the nose up a little bit, um, and once we're below 280 clicks per hour, press P for parachute. You will have to parachute with this bird, it's got almost no brakes. Pump the brakes now just to get her under control. Keep your finger on P to release the parachute, and that's okay. That wasn't textbook, 
but it was okay. So the important things were that uh, we take... Me- Thank you, my love. Uh, the important things were that we... It wasn't a textbook landing. I went a lot faster and a lot steeper than a textbook landing. Now, the reason is because I could just see the runway like that. If we would have gone a textbook landing and slower, I would have been struggling to see the runway. And I prefer to be slightly steeper and see the runway. Uh, the only other things to remember, remember to parachute. Do not parachute over 280 clicks per hour or your parachute will rip off and you will die. You'll notice on the final approach, I was uh, it was kind of a curved approach that we came into rather than a proper straight approach. Uh, that was just because I did a bad base leg turn. I was um, messing around with my altitude too much and so we didn't come on a perfectly straight approach. But we could easily correct within the last half mile or so, so it wasn't too bad. If you were much further out than that, uh, too much curve, uh, then probably just go round into another circuit and um, and come around for another attempt. Remember, your s- approach speed is going to be based on your weight. Uh, so if you're fully weighed down with payload, don't try and come in at 300 clicks per hour. You will crash and die. Other than that, I think that's everything I need to cover. I hope that helps, and I'll see you later.